Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raja Option Trading. Today is April 12, 2022. Let's talk, take a look at one of my favorite companies. It's Apple. Apple is a consumer electronic company and they got innovations humming. It's a $2.7 trillion company, biggest market cap on the earth. Look, they got new product, new innovation. People love it. Once you buy an Apple, you're always an Apple fan. And they got this new subscription bundle, which can be a game changer. And it's also rumored to be coming up with hardware as a subscription where you can get your new iPhone year after year for a subscription fee. I think it's going to be a game changer. So with that, let's jump in here. Look at Apple's leadership. From a leadership perspective, we got uh, Tim Cook here. He's the top CEO in 2021 and employees approve. They say 90% approve the CEO. Looks like he's uh, doing the top job here. Uh, superb leadership across the board. So with that, let's jump in, look at the Apple product. Look, Apple's innovation is humming. They got Mac, phone, iPad, Apple Watch, and so on and so forth. Once you buy iPhone, then you buy Mac, then you buy iPad because you want to travel more convenient. Then you buy Apple Watch, you want to keep a watch on your health, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Once you buy an Apple product, you are hooked to Apple, and your younger generations, they will also keep following you and buy Apple. Look at these new innovations all across the board. I love it. You know, they are doing the right thing by really coming up with very, very quality product. And also, and also it's also very ESG focused and uh, they cut the carbon and make it better for the world. So with that, let's jump in and look at Apple. Look, Apple is really innovating. They design, manufacture, uh, smart smartphones, personal computers, tablets, so on and so forth. And market cap is about $2.7 trillion. And year to date, it's a little bit negative as you can see here, but it's uh, doing very well compared to other companies. Look at the stock performance. It's a five-year chart. Stock is doing very well. Only few companies can uh, do like Apple does. Look, it's uh, really doing very well from a stock chart perspective. And it's a strong buy rating from analysts here. 23 say buy, five say hold. And look from an update perspective, uh, looks like a, a Taiwan uh, iPhone maker uh, suspends operations. So we got some, uh, you know, a little bit supply chain hiccups here and there. But I think overall, uh, Apple is doing very well. They also have this uh, one-stop shop for all the uh, apps here, a Mac bundle. This could be a good one here. So overall, there is a good vibe about Apple. And this uh, slight pullback here could be a good buying opportunity. As you can see here, we got nice uh, support level here around 155 or so. I would be a buyer at this level and slowly start buying this great company and uh, take advantage of this uh, little pullback here by this quality company. All right, so from a price target perspective, look, Apple right now, Price is about 165 right now, and lower target is 161, which is a you know maybe a couple of dollars below the current price. The higher target price is 215, which is a nice appreciation, and midpoint is 193. So that's why I think it's a great stock to buy here uh, on this pullback. Um, it's, it will do very well long term. And look from a technical perspective, it's a sell right now, and from a um, analyst perspective from a fundamental perspective it's a buy so I like this uh, divergence here when fundamental says uh, buy and technical says hey it's uh, pulling back nicely it's oversold that's when you start buying that's a good way to start buying so with that let's jump in and look at uh, uh, data here from a quick data perspective look Apple is a $165 stock here they're down 4.2 one uh, percent from 52 week high and look uh, it's a uh, target price is 193 very good appreciation from the current levels and they're down about uh, nine percent from 52 week high and they're into Dow Jones industrial average S&P 500 S&P 100 and so on and so forth this company typically you know does a little bit better than S&P 500 on good days and a little bit bad on the bad days with a little bit higher beta than S&P 500. Next earnings around the corner, 428. 
and look from a sales growth perspective i like this company it's a big company look still sales growth uh, for uh, uh, for year over year growth um, and even five year sales growth is good double digits and this year sales growth and next year sales growth are also high that tells you it's a growth company even though it's a huge company growing nicely look it's it even gets better look at the margin i love the margin here net margin 26 percent ebitda margin of 34 percent its company is minting money or coining money as we say here and from a valuation perspective look here very low valuation price to sales ratio 7.4 P ratio 28, very, very low valuation. You could uh, buy this great company here. <clears throat> and from an earnings perspective, it earns $6 per share. Look, earnings growth for this year, next year, and even um, next five years is a great year. This company is doing very well from a growth perspective. You get the growth and you know, value in, the, in one stock here. And Apple is a little bit high on the debt side. This company is taking advantage of low interest rate. They must have locked in long-term low interest rate loan. <clears throat> they're getting some good. Uh, they're getting some good uh, uh, interest rate probably, but a little bit high on the debt here on the balance sheet. But they got a lot of money. They can uh, manage it. And look, uh, they're not paying too much uh, interest rate for the debt here. Very low interest rate here. Cost of debt is uh, 2.2 percent, which is uh, very, very, very manageable. <clears throat> and look, you know, from a performance perspective, stock has been uh, not doing great for, for one day, five day, and 10 day. But overall, look at the five-year return, 390. Look at the 10-year return, 762. Company has been doing great. And from a technical perspective here, RSI 44 tells you stock is sold off here. IV percentile 46 tells you you could make some very good money selling put options underneath the stock price <clears throat> very comfortably. And look uh, from a you know average true range perspective, stock moves. You can trade in and out very easily. You can make some good money. It's not a dead stock. It moves 4.414% uh, in a 14-day type time frame here. Put call ratio is below one that tells you there are a lot of call buyers here. And from a tech, technical rating perspective, it's a sell. And from a um, from a fundamental perspective, it's a buy, strong buy, as you can see here. All right, from a moving average perspective, right now, you know, it's a little bit negative, you know, one day, uh, five day, 10 day, and 20 day perspective, and even 50 day SMA perspective, but 200 day, it's uh, on a higher basis. It's doing well. And look, insiders are selling a little bit, not to, not a big deal, but institutions are also selling slightly, but institutions own a lot of these shares, as you can see here. And Bollinger Band perspective, it's in the middle level here, a uh, lot more room to run here. And one month high is 179, one month low is 150. I could see it you know, coming to around uh, 150, 155, and touch the one month low and go higher. VWAP is 166, that tells you stock can go higher. Uh, 20 day VWAP is 170, there is a upward momentum for this stock here. And from an industry benchmark perspective, look, valuation is uh, pretty low here. Uh, good score, higher the score, the better. Uh, growth is very good. Uh, company is growing in all cylinders here. Profitability is great. And Altman Z score is very well above 1.8. Company has a lot of money. No need to worry about bankruptcy. Books are improving. I like the Piotrowski F score above 8 or 8. It's great. And financial health from Morningstar perspective and growth and profitability is top notch here. Grade B. And they're doing very well, you know, compared to industry here on a two-year period. And even five-year period, they're trouncing the industry and doing great. And they're also doing very well when it comes to efficiency. Uh, they, they're also paying good dividend if you're a dividend investor. So with the overall rating is 79, which is very good. A sentiment perspective, sentiment rank is three. That tells you folks are really liking this company here. And they got great quality when it comes to the balance sheet and the margins. It's always good to see. Max drawdown in one year is 17%, and max drawdown in five years is 31%. That tells you, in very, very bad economy, this company can come down. Uh, you can see here, three-year uh, drawdown is 31%. Right now, we are 9% down. I can see us you know, going, to, going to maybe you know, 17% or 20%. That's why it's good to slowly start buying this great company. 
All right. From a number perspective, look, earnings per share is growing. I like this clip here. Companies are generating more and more money. And sales is also growing nicely. That's also a good clip here. I like it. And shares outstanding is coming down. That's what I want to see. From an operating margin perspective, it's uh, you know flat. It's improving, as you can see here. Net margin is also improving. That's also good. And debt to equity. Companies really paying down the debt. I like it. You know, they are reducing the debt here. That's what I want to see here. <clears throat> Earlier on, I was a little concerned about Apple's debt, but it looks like they're trying to bring it down, which is always great. All right. Now, from an earnings history perspective, look here. It's in a great shape. They'd been surprised in the analysts with the you know, EPS beat all along, and they've been beating on the revenue side most of the time. Maybe if you see here once or twice, it's a you know, negative surprise, but they've been surprising positively most of the time. <coughs> And look here from a revenue perspective, look at this clip here. There was $652 billion revenue back in 2017 March. Now it's 123. Look, it's uh, you know more than double its revenue in a couple of years. That's a great one here. And look at the steady clip here. They've been increasing the revenue uh, very nicely in a, in a very good fashion here. And year over year, revenue growth is also great here. Look at the quality of revenue growth here. Yeah, they're doing very well here. So with that, you know, I, I think it's a great company. You should take advantage. If Apple pulls, pulls back due to this uh, uh, pullback here, you should uh, buy this great company slowly. You know, don't buy too much. Buy a couple of them here and there. Take advantage. Dollar cost average, you will do great. All right. Now, from a competitive landscape perspective, look, we got Apple on the top here. Apple is a uh, $2.7 trillion company here. Even this big, huge company with $378 billion sales is growing at a nice clip here. 16% in one year, 11% quarter over quarter, nice net margin of 27%. It's a great one to buy here. Look, on a five-year basis, it's done great here. And Next year, EPS growth and revenue growth are also great, positive here. You know, company doing great. And then you got Sonos, little company here, just a $3 billion market cap. You could buy this one also here, 9% net margin. It's a positive net margin company. This company also has done good. Look here, for two years, 195%. You could buy this company also. It's also a good one here. and also has a good overall rating, as you can see here. And then you got a few more. I like Sony also. Sony is a very quality company here. Look, overall score is 80. RSI 32 tells you could slowly start buying some Sony also. It's also a good, good one to buy here. All right, then we got here iRobot. Many of you know Roomba players. It's also a good one here to buy. A little bit, uh, you know, low uh, RSI right now. And the uh, company is making slightly some money here. Net margin is 2%. You know, on the bad days, you could buy iRobot. You could uh, do very well. All right, so with that, let's jump in here and look at uh, Apple's monthly performance metric. Look, Apple, this year, it's not done great. It's a little bit negative with all the negative sentiment in the markets, supply chain issues. Apple is a little bit uh, not so great here, but it's good compared to the industry in general. And if you see here, performance on a yearly perspective, it's done great in 2021, 2020, so on and so forth. Look at the nice performance, you know, in all these years. 2018, when the interest rate was high, this stock came tumbling down. Look, uh, we got nice downturn here um, in uh, April and March of 2018, and nice downturn all the way from September to December of um, 20, uh, 20, 2018. So that tells you, you should uh, have some patience on this Apple uh, as the interest rate uh, you know, worries linger. Apple can come down slightly, uh, some more. That's why it's a good one to buy slowly and accumulate. All right, so let's jump in here, look at the chart. From a chart perspective, look, it's a five-year weekly chart here, and the stock has been doing great. Look at this trajectory, very good. And right now, it's trying to decide where to go here. 
there's a very good support level around current level around 160 and if you miss that you got one more here around 150 or so i think it's a good one to slowly start buying and this company will do very well and look from a chart perspective <clears throat> we got this is uh, even you can see a little better here look we got nice support level here around 140 or so 149 150 very good support level here and you could slowly start buying here there is also nice support level right here where it is right now around 150 160 or so it's also a good one to start accumulating slowly <clears throat> From a, <clears throat> from a moment, momentum perspective, momentum is down slightly right now. That's why RSI indicating low here. Um, volatility is picking up, as you can see here. And that's why you could make some good money selling some put option under the stock price. On the balance volume is steady. That tells you folks are buying the stock. Smart money is flowing into the stock. That's why check-in money flow is uh, going higher. All right, now let's look at Bollinger Band here. From a Bollinger Band perspective, look, uh, it went all the way high. Look, it went gangbusters, touched the upper bar here, um, and then it came down. Right now, it's in the midpoint here. I could expect it to come a little more down here, maybe touch the lower bar around 154 or so, then start going higher. That's how it's set up here. That's why I feel, I feel comfortable to slowly start buying um, and it accumulate this great stock here. All right, <clears throat> now let's look at uh, a TTM squeeze indicator by John Carter. The way to read this chart I got here, the one day chart here, I got three day chart, uh, which is three year, three day, five year weekly, and we got uh, 20 year monthly. So the moment you see the long term, uh, long term wave, this is a long term wave. Um, long term wave should be above that tells you you know it's in a bullish pattern here look long term wave above zero long term wave above zero and so on so forth squarely long term wave is above zero when that happens you should also look at uh, a squeeze indicator the red dot look we got a red dot here that tells you on a weekly chart here there's a squeeze when that squeeze happens look what's going on in the longer term a wave here the longer term wave is squarely above zero as you can see here so john carter says you know hey at this point you can start buying here um, there is a tight compression of volatility stock can explode higher that's why i think it's a good time to buy according to this ttm squeeze indicator we could slowly take advantage of this pullback here and buy apple can surprise you and go higher all right from a option chain perspective look stock price is around 165 here and all time high is 182 that's a nice uh, appreciation from the current levels and at 165 we got a lot of option open interest here 1700 and as you go higher here at 185 we got 9000 open interest and even at 200 dollars we got 2000 or 4000 open interest that tells you in the option market people are betting the stock will go higher they're buying call options out of the money call options and on the put side people are also hedging but it's nowhere compared to call option uh, volume here or open interest that tells you folks are betting the stock will go higher buying the call options all right so if you look at the put call ratio here uh, look we got call options 5 574000 put options 414000 that makes a put call ratio well below 1 that's a bullish indication and look vwap is 166 current stock price is 165 that tells you stock can go higher uh, from the current levels all right now what should i do so apple if you look at their uh, 10q statement there uh, there is a signs of gross margin expansion improving supply chain and you know the folks once once you buy an apple product you always return back to apple product you love your mac you love your iphone you buy an ipad you buy airpod and so on and so forth so that's why you know because apple is so um, quality from a product perspective innovation is humming typically people will be uh, attracted to apple's ecosystem and they will never go back to anything else <clears throat> And they also hint about this uh, augmented reality headset that could be a good one uh, and a game changer. And they they have 
various product upgrades, you know, iPhone, iPad, and so on and so forth, that makes people to come back to their Apple products because it's innovating super fast with a high quality. And there is also this rumor about this Apple hardware subscription. This could be a game changer. You can just, you know, you know pay a monthly fees to Apple, you know, keep buying their new innovative products. Uh, for life. So with that, I say take advantage of this pullback and buy this great stock Apple. You will do very well. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.